How's it going? How you doing, Jin? Good to see you alive and well. Well, not for long. Um, it'll be... Oh, wait, sorry. Um, there we go. Yeah. Soon enough. Um, Xian, how's it going? Hey, Sam B. I love the bling. Uh, Perna. Oh, you have a tattoo? That's pretty sick. What does it say? Uh, I can't read that. And then... Logan. Uh, I can't read what shirt you're wearing, but uh, I like the tattoos. They look pretty cool. Um, hairstyle. Here, let me uh, let me just uh, get a few little hairs trimmed off the back. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you might have a little bleeding around your ear. That's my bad. Um, yeah, so solid backpack. You guys all look lovely fantastic um yeah bye now well, if you give me no choice. why is Ryder talking over the radio the whole time he's literally the character we're controlling <laughs> just elbowed him into oblivion <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> that knocked me back too? Hiya. Bye. Hey, guess what? You cannot do a cartwheel. Oh. Tore someone's leg off so clean that there's no blood. What are you... What are you doing? <laughs> that is hilarious. I love that. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you all are doing fantastic today. As you can see, we are in the character selection screen of Dead Island. And yesterday was the uh, final episode that I uploaded of the main playthrough. However, as I was working on some challenge videos, I saw that there was a fifth character. And I know I saw this when I was originally choosing my character at the beginning of the game. And so originally, I thought Ryder was just a jack-of-all-trades kind of, oh, I don't have an expertise in any one area, I'll be good at all of them type thing. As we progress through the story, I completely and utter utterly forgot about this. I did some research, and apparently this is a DLC. I guess it's because I have the definitive edition of the game. Should be interesting. We get to see the game from the other side of the coin. We get to see someone else's perspective than the other four. Anyways, let's go ahead and see if the writer has a blurb. Uh, I would assume so. Maybe it's not voiced or something. I honestly have no clue. Let's go ahead and see. If it's not voiced, I'll go ahead and uh, read it out. Yeah, no. Okay, character's bio. I've seen some hellholes in my time. Been all over the world. Fought in Iraq, East Timor, and Afghanistan. Each of those places is worse than the next. Politicians want to turn them into Western democracies. But they're primitive. Tribal. Steeped in all kinds of crazy shit. Of all the brutal, chaotic places I've been, Benoit takes the bloody prize. They got warring tribes in the highlands, rascal gangs terrorizing the shanty towns, and some shit-for-brains billionaire has the brilliant idea to build a luxury resort here. Guess the land was cheap, and it is a beautiful place. But deep in the jungles here, some of the in some of those indigenous tribes still practice cannibalism. You know what they call human flesh? Long pig. They say it tastes just like pork. My wife convinced me to come here with her because she thought I'd be safer. Out of the line of fire, as it were. So now I'm training the local Banaway Defense Force, and I gotta be honest. I got a bad feeling about this place. A real bad feeling. <clears throat> Okay, so that is uh, Ryder's blurb. If you've watched the main playthrough uh, of this game, of Dead Island, or if you've played the game yourself, you know what happens to Ryder and how his story kind of plays out. Um, but it'll be interesting seeing things from his perspective and leading up until the characters meet him. I think I want to try and play in one punch mode, just because I'm mostly focused on the story and not exactly the gameplay. The gameplay for me was with uh, each of the four characters, you know? Now I want to play in one punch mode. I want to see how that kind of turns out. 
One Punch Mode. Do you want to enable One Punch Mode? This mode is only available in single player. That is totally 100% fine for us. I've played single player this whole time. If enabled, you'll not gain any progress towards unlocking achievements or completing challenges. That's okay. I'll probably go back and unlock challenges or complete challenges or unlock achievements if I find them interesting. <clears throat> anyway, let's go ahead and play in one, uh, one Punch Mode as uh, Ryder. to ask you some questions, Colonel. Yes, sir. Are you prepared to follow any and all orders from your commanding officer? Of course, sir. Are you prepared to kill the enemy without hesitation? Yes, sir. If necessary for the greater good, are you prepared to kill civilians? Yes, sir. Are you prepared to kill this enlisted man? Yes, sir. This fellow officer? Yes, sir. This young girl? Yes, sir. Will you kill this woman? Y yes, sir. Interesting. You think he won't push the button because of her? He hesitated, which is why he was reassigned to Banoi. So who is she? His wife. Can we get her to the island? She is already there. She's been there six months now, and I believe she is the best chance we have to slow him down. Wow, okay. That was... Well, somehow Lewington got infected. The co-pilot. That was intriguing. <laughs> I, f I find it funny how there's a tip that's saying exploring the island alone may be dangerous in the Ryder White campaign. Spend cash on new items, or you can use them to enhance your weapons. All right, so we can kick. We're in Keen, uh, Queen's Cliff right now. We don't have any uh, weapon except for our fists. Uh, don't have a map. Main quest: the eagle has landed. XP zero. Find a way out. Inventory: nothing. We have ten thousand bucks though. Uh, we can carry. All right, fair amount. Fair amount of ammo. Uh, we can't check our skills yet. And looking in the top left. Okay, we have a uh, sort of crown icon. 
I'm assuming that'd be our uh, fury skill. So we got a large battery, constituent parts, phones, some bolts. Okay, so we heard someone. Belt. Can't. Oh, we can grab the crowbar. Let's drink the energy drink. Can't take the alcohol. And I cannot seem to grab this crowbar. Okay. Although it is glowing. Got a flashlight. Just trying to check and see what's different and what's the same from the base game. Flimsy wrench. Alright, but that's not really going to be of too much help to us. We're playing in one punch mode. <laughs> Alright. Just trying to get a feel for the area. Got a phone and a shocking crowbar mod. Odd enough, we can get a shocking crowbar mod, but not a crowbar itself. Alright, let's continue down this way. Hey! Nope. You like that? Whoa! That's a shocking touch we have, hey? <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow. Okay, note to self, the electricity from our own punches can hurt us. Okay, so we have random, uh, random sort of effects that can happen to us. Grab the flimsy wrench. I mean, I guess I'll take it, but, uh, we're mostly concerned with using our fists. Oh! <laughs> Now we grab a weapon, and they are no longer there. Oh, I love that noise. All right, what's over here? Oh, okay, soda cans I can't drink. <laughs> Just elbowed him into oblivion. <laughs> where are we at oh this looks like uh okay yeah I think uh, I think we're in Moresby like the church is just up there hold B to activate your fury okay what is it though Still can access my skills. That's fine. Yeah, so the church is just up there, I think. Yeah, it's like around that corner and up that hill. Uh, I'm going this way. I can kick him too. Solid. Oh, this is fun. All right, I am curious though. Oh, it's like a bullet time. Although, clearly, I am terribly inaccurate. <laughs> Alright, let's keep running this way. Going to the central police station. We've taken out the rascal gang. 
Quest completed, the eagle has landed. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is super fun. Wait, what if I just kick the door? Oh, no, that didn't work. There we go. Bye. Oh no, where do I go? <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. I like this. I don't know how long I'll need to make this series, honestly. Or this little, I guess, DLC series. Boom, explosive barrels. <laughs> Oh. Oh, hi Tyler and Nobs. What the hell is happening here? You're a soldier. Why aren't you protecting us? I, I saw you shoot a woman back there. She was sick in the head and you shot her. Like an animal. Please step back, sir. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if you give me no choice. Why is Ryder talking over the radio the whole time? He's literally the character we're controlling. Why? All right, sure. Whatever works, I guess. Boom! Ow! What the? Oh, he threw something at me. Oh, I see. Um, yeet! <laughs> that knocked me back too. Oh, that doesn't really matter. I mean, they're, <laughs> they're all still gone. All right. Uh, let's take the ladder down. Don't want to die. You like that? All right. Run into the police station. I can tell someone's using the explosives. Honestly, since it's a DLC, I might just make this like a long, uh, long hour episode or something. I'm not too sure. Not Left of who? Oh, gee. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Help! <laughs> I'm being attacked from all directions. What the? Oh, the enemy is on the other side of that gate. Okay. I see. <clears throat> What's this red light? Oh! Love that. Oh. <laughs> Gee. All right. Let's head up this way. Nope. <clears throat> All right. Please tell me there's not like a suicider up here. No, I think they're all down there. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, Kieran Giles. Uh, this was our second honeymoon, the vacation of a lifetime, and, and then that's. She attacked me. I, I screamed at her to stop. I, I begged her. I, I did everything I could, but, but she wouldn't listen to me. So I hit her, and I, and I hit her again, and, and I hit her until she stopped moving. Oh my God. Jeez. Let's just say we are doomed. Hell on earth.
Okay, so Kevin's the one who... Alright. Our mission is to blow the main bridge that connects to the slums and prevent the infection from spreading all over the island. Half the squad has been wounded or bitten by these bloody maniacs. Rascal gangs are stalking us. Our medic was shot in the head while tending to Captain Jackson. The chance now is to cross the bridge and blow it up behind us. What the hell is happening here? killed a little boy this morning. He couldn't have been older than 10. I put 15 rounds into him. He kept coming. On the move. Shit, it's like we're moving out. I can't believe we have to go out there again. Dang. Andrew Meisner, tape three, huh? Don't kill me. Okay, I thought that'd kill me. Alright, we gotta head this way. Oh. Need help. Need help. Oh no. Press cruz. Get this off me. Get this shot me. Oh. <coughs> we should be helping each other. Shooting each other. I don't think we all did. Dang. I uh, wish I could help you, but I'm not allowed to give you a med kit, apparently. Jeez. Ah! Hiya. Fire. Over here. <laughs> I'm badly outnumbered here. It just r walks all into gunfire with nothing but his fists. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Base, this is White. I recovered the explosives. Over. Good work, Colonel. Now you need to get to that bloody bridge and plant them. Every second counts, sir. Maybe it would be safer to go by way of the sewer system. Copy that, Base. I'm moving towards the designated target. Over. Ooh, sewer section. Get to the city bridge in sector four. All right. Oh, that's. Yeah, I uh, probably should have seen that coming. But regardless, let's keep moving. Find the way through.
<laughs> Alright, come on now. Hop, skip, and a kick away. Really? Alright, let's run past him. Keep going. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Okay. What in the world? Uh, I guess I can't swing forever? Though you'd think I would be able to. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm just getting stun locked. Nope. Let me, let me through the gate. There we go. Hmm. All right. Um, I'm assuming go up here. Ooh, a rifle that I'm probably not going to use. Oh, that was it. I thought I had to climb the ladder. What's this? They say it's some sort of disease, but I've never seen anything like it. The city is in chaos, and the police are nowhere to be found. Infected are like rabid dogs, attacking anyone they see. A woman leapt onto Private Mallory and tore out his bloody throat. I looked into her eyes, and I didn't see anything to be human. We have no choice but to kill them. Men, women, children. There are the hundreds. We're, we're trapped in a storefront and they're trying to get in. From the rear, to kill them, kill them! Boom! <laughs> oh man, I tried using a med kit. I guess that didn't work, huh? What? Okay. Dang it, okay, that one area is where I keep choking. Alright, and then... Nope, nope, nope! Uh, man. Alright, run, 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 run. Nope, no. Nope. who shot me? I thought I took everyone out over there. That's hilarious. Maybe now you'll back the fuck off. <laughs> All right. Yeah. One more. Two more. Hey, guess what? You can now do a cartwheel. I guess that's all of them. Base, it's wide. The bridge is secure. I'm planning the explosives. Copy that. 
Oh, I tore someone's leg off so clean that there's no blood. Jeez. Oh, do I have to go down? Yeah, looks like it. All right, let's head down here. This is hilarious to me. I'm so glad I played in one punch mode. All right, let's plant this here. Oh. All right, well, moving on. Alright, quest completed, one bridge too far. Where are we going now? Ah, this way. Okay. Get to the evac zone in sector 6. Alright, I hear all the zombies and stuff. Getting my, uh, Infinifists ready. What? Okay, so what in the world happened? Break in first try? Nope. Adios. <laughs> Try not to rush in. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, for some reason I thought that door would be the door I need to go into to get to Sector 6. But, I mean, look how long it took us to get to the, uh... What are you... What are you doing? <laughs> I was gonna say, but look how long it took us to get to uh, zone four. Ah! No. Go away. <laughs> Shit, that took some work. Really? Alright, we're evacing off of the here. I want this thug to fly so bad. Pretty please? No way. Alright, I thought he killed us. That is hilarious. Base, I love that. I'm in position. Over. You have to hold your ground, Colonel. Your evac is almost there. Hold my position until transports arrives. A transport arrives. All right. Oh, I don't know what you did. Hey, look, twins! Hey, it's Emily! <laughs> Wait, that genuinely looks like Emily, though.
Don't know why. <laughs> oh, jeez. What the hell? I'm still alive? Come on, let me up, let me up. <laughs> Colonel White, despite your best efforts, the infection has spread over the entire island. I'm sorry, sir, but it's time for you to evacuate and call in Executive Protocol 66. Copy that, base. But I'm not calling in the bombers until I know my wife is safe. Then, and only then, will I execute Protocol 66. Over. Emily! Emily! Are you there? Ryder? Oh, thank God you're all right. I'll meet you on the carrier soon, doll. I don't think so. What? What are you saying? What's going on, Emily? I was bitten. One of my patients. It happened so fast. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's no help for me now. The infection is spreading, and soon... Don't say that. No, I'm sure we, we can... can't. I radioed the helicopter and told them to stay away. Save yourself, Ryder. I'm already gone. I love you. Colonel, the carrier's just ahead. You, you listen to me, Emily. I am not leaving you behind. Ryder. We're heading back. You hear me? To the prison. Now! That's an order. Yes, sir. All right, the knight in shining armor, new quest. Oh, yeah, we do still have our stuff. Okay. Damn, why'd they block that passage? Emily's room is just right there. I need to find another way. Hmm. Well, they probably blocked the passage because she's infected. Didn't she just say she was infected? She's probably not all right. I do appreciate the inside look at this, though. It's really interesting. Anyway. Oh, come on. Let me reload. Um. What? Some newspapers? Yeah. Take that first aid kit. Ooh. Dang. There we go. Nope. Talk to Cherum. Um, I thought his name's Kevin. Who's Cherum? 
Was that someone in the base game that I'm just forgetting? Possibly. who transported the dead on the river Styx. But right now, your wife is still among the living, sir. And I can keep her that way if you do everything I say. I was trying to turn the main power back on, but I couldn't manage it. So I'm gonna need your help to get the generators up and running. They're in the basement. I can guide you by using the surveillance camera system. We won't make it without full power. Please hurry, Colonel. Dang! Although, I love the kitten poster in the back. <laughs> what the? Somehow, one of the infected got inside and bit me. I was sure I locked the door behind us. Luckily, Kevin killed him before he could do more damage. But now... Now I'm infected. This disease is obviously transmitted by blood and saliva and... There is no cure for Kuru. There is clearly no cure for this. I can no longer be evacuated from here, as I carry the pathogen inside myself now. It's just too dangerous. I will continue my research as long as I'm able. From what I can tell, everyone infected also has blood markers that indicate HIV. I don't understand the connection. Or even if there is one. Dr. White. Maybe you should lie down. No, I'm all right, Kevin. I need to keep working as long as I possibly can. Okay, well now I'm I'm now I'm curious to find all the uh, Emily White recordings, at the very least. Maybe now you'll back the fuck off. Can you take fall damage? Oh, I guess we can. Stomp heads, but with how powerful our kicks are, that doesn't really surprise me. Oh. I don't know why you lunge in that direction. Whoa! Jeez! Oh, you? All right. Oh, wait, well, hold on, what? Oh, okay. Wow, imagine that. Please watch the water is the only thing you gotta say. Such emotion. Kevin's just like, yeah, um, please watch the water. That's it, that's all I got for you, dude. Lucky for me, there's an alternate exit. Anyway. Hey, we got a soldier here. What is it you doing here? I'm just gonna go through this door. You here all by your lonesome? A little bit.
Alright, how am I supposed to get through here? Oh. Not like that, obviously. Oh. I mean, aren't you an officer? <laughs> okay, fine. To go there. I will take that med kit though. Watch out, White. Infected right behind you. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Can they open doors? <laughs> okay, you reach the docks. Now look for the transport platform. It'll help you get to the other side. God damn it. Can you hear me? I'm sending some monster waves. We gotta keep that area secure. Wait, what if I just That's what I like to say. <clears throat> Where are they at? Oh, down there. Wait, what? Hold on. I can just stay here. <laughs> Putting yourself this way and just into this corner. Oh. Uh. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Alright, can I go through here? No. Bloody apples. Was I supposed to go in the elevator? Thought I said it wouldn't work without full power. Guys are really uh, vicious. Be so much nicer if that electricity didn't harm me. Because I mean, technically, I'm the one causing it. Well, with all this fire, it might as well be hell. I'm just gonna ignore all the enemies. I'm just gonna. There we go. Oh, what's this? Oh. Mm, I radioed the rescue helicopter and told them to leave me here. The disease is taking control of me, and soon. <laughs> soon. Oh, God. I told Ryder to stay away, but uh, he's so stubborn. <laughs> he has to stay away. I don't want him to see me like this. <laughs> oh, 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 I want him to remember me the way I was, not like this. <laughs> Ryder, 
if you find this. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Tell Kate and Pam that Mommy loves them. Oh, oh God. Oh. Jeez. What are we doing here? She doesn't keep her recordings in here. Are they just spread out through the hospital? Why? Oh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a uh, Titus and them. We got the bastard who killed our brother. This book is done. Shoot the bloody AJ. Shit runs. The odds aren't in your favor. Yeah, why would you guys cover this whole area and not make sure your back is covered too? That just leaves you wide open to so many attacks. Alright. That works. Do I have to head back or am I going uh, this way still? through here. Nope. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Love that. How are you going to meet me there? That's awkward. Okay, thank you. Super virus derived from a mummy. I'll call it the Pharaoh's curse. Uh, not from a mummy, from her. I examined her blood and found the pathogen in its pristine form. She's the source of the plague. A walking time bomb. I don't know how or why or where it came from, but I want to study it. Maybe I can create some kind of vaccine. No, West, your role is finished. Send them to me along with the virus and the girl. You can have your virus. But the girl stays with me. I need more of her blood. I know I can solve this. I know I can. I just need more time. West? Don't be afraid. What are you doing? I just need a little West? more blood. If we can make a vaccine, we can save your people. Save the island. No! No more blood! I'll give you something to relax you. No! Open it. I won't hurt you. Open it. Open it!
Hey, can you hear me? There's a problem in the laboratory. I'm hearing screams. Drop what you're doing and go. Go! God damn it, go! We could lose everything! Were you talking to someone? What do you mean? Don't play games with me, Darren. Calm down, Colonel. We have a deal, and I'll help you as promised. Just don't go all paranoid on me. Dang! I am so happy I played this DLC now. That was a lot of info! What is this? <sighs> I'm running low on tetracycline. And it's much too dangerous to venture into the other parts of the hospital now. As the corridors are teeming with the infected. Oh. Thank God for Kevin's help. Ugh. I'm trying to stay lucid long enough to document the symptoms for other researchers who may find these notes. Oh, my gait is becoming increasingly unsteady and I am suffering from ataxia. Oh, tremors are wrecking my body. Oh, my head is throbbing and oh God, oh God. Oh, Ryder, oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> so, that is insane. He can mimic voices really well. And, uh, he's been talking to us this whole time. Like us, the survivors. The last thing we have to do is lay out the red carpet for our guests of honor. That means making sure they go exactly where we want them to. Start off by clearing the way to block C in the showers. We don't want any infected slowing them down. Okay, eliminate every threat in the survivor's path. Hmm. So, we're the muscle. He's the mastermind. Intriguing. Oh, you know what? So that must mean that, uh... Kevin's the one who gassed us in the elevator. Like, put us to sleep. And he told us it was Ryder. Hmm. This way? Yeah, it looks like it. Showers, observation deck. And then through here, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That did nothing. Love that. Um... We got more grenades. That'd be nice. Ha! <laughs> Love that. Pop goes the weasel. Piss off! All right, can we actually get down there though? There we go. You need to cut off the path to the ventilation shafts. According to the old blueprints, they can be used to access the control room. We won't be able to contact you while you're inside. Over and out. Ow! <laughs> at me. I want to see how, how well this does. Actually? 
It's not bad. Here, let me uh, move this there. That there as well. Hey! That worked amazingly. Gonna open that. Oh. This is the journal of Emily White, Chief Medical Officer at the Banoi Prison Hospital. A few hours ago, one of our outside food suppliers attacked and bit two of the guards. The man was delirious, violent, and unresponsive. So I had him put in restraints and ran some tests. The symptoms indicate Kuro, a type of spongiform encephalopathy that is endemic to the native population here. It's a prion disease like mad cow, and is spread by the practice of cannibalism and the consumption of human brains. I'm keeping him and the guards who were bitten under close observation. Huh. Alright. How do... How do I? Oh, okay. Is this gonna kill me? Nope. Oh, that will kill me though. Oh, yeah, I didn't see any other way out of that. Well, if that works. All right, let's turn that off. Oh, can I squeeze through? There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's run down here. Jeez, look how low my health was. Wait, what's it say? Oh, it's a, it's a light. <laughs> Run! Although, wasn't there a zombie that just dropped down there? Can they climb ladders? No, okay. Intriguing. What took you so long, Colonel? What kept you? Who are they? Who? I tell you not to play games with me, mate. They're coming here. You were talking to them. Why were you pretending to be me? Relax, White. I can't tell them who I really am. You think they believe a convict? You wanted me to help your wife, right? That's what I'm doing. 
I know you, Karen. You're smart, but this time you outsmarted even yourself. I could have given Emily over to the experts. And what would they have done? They wouldn't even know where to look. Who told you about the virus and gave Emily the medicine to slow it down? I betrayed the consortium for you. And I betrayed my country. So I would say we're even, mate. But you wasted my Emily's time with your tricks. You've sensed her to dick. Now I'm sentencing you. They're bringing you the antidote. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not lying. Your wife still has a chance, Colonel. We made it based on the virus of the natives. I can explain. I want to hear it from them. You connect me. No. If they find out I'm not who I say I was, they won't believe anything. You do this, and you risk everything. Karen, I'll kill you if you're lying. I'll get the antidote into your hands, just like I promised. But you have to trust me. Dang, okay. Get the knockout gas from Block C and put it on top of the elevator they'll be riding in. We need to get that antidote away from them as quickly as possible, and I'd like to avoid any last minute negotiations. All right. So yeah, it looks like I was right about the uh, knockout gas thing. In the main playthrough, the only thing I didn't like about Kevin was, uh... Oh, for a second, I thought this was the armory hallway. Um, I didn't like the, um, the smile he gave at the end. What the? Oh, we're outside the prison? Huh. Cool. Ooh, a wristwatch. Wow, that's extremely useful. That's how you do it. Dang. What are you just crouching over and over for? Table. Also, Kevin mentioned, or Kevin or Karen, he mentioned something about a consortium. Can't say I know what that is. Is it like group? I guess I have no clue. Oh yay! Ah, yep. Okay, I see. There's a knockout gas. And whatever that is. Oh, okay. Oh! I see. Nope. Not dealing with that. Yeah. Good try. Not gonna lie, I almost missed that jump. It's time to prepare that unpleasant surprise for our guests. Place the knockout gas on top of the elevator they'll be riding it. On top? Okay. Couldn't you hold on, instead of doing that, couldn't you just open the elevator and have me go inside the emergency hatch? Place it there? But 
Okay, I guess we'll go here. Just pry it open real quick. And then what, place it here? Mount the knockout gas canister? That should do it, Colonel. Okay, back to the control room. Huh. Intriguing. Now watch. Are you inside? Done. Now we go get the cure. You're not going anywhere, Kevin. Move away from the computer. Up against the wall. White, what are you doing? I'm saving Emily. And I don't want any more surprises. And if the cure doesn't work, I'll come back here and I'll kill you. The cure won't help her now. It's a vaccine. It works only up until the first stage. She is in the first stage. I'm afraid not, Colonel. Not anymore. What? You should have killed me when you had the chance. Dang. All right, steal the vaccine from the survivors. <laughs> I can't really go in the elevator. How's it going? How you doing, Jen? Good to see you alive and well. Not for long. Um, it'll be. Oh wait, sorry. Um, there we go. Yeah, soon enough. Um, Shan, how's it going? Hey, Sam B. I love the bling. Uh, Perna. Oh, you have a tattoo. That's pretty sick. What does it say? Uh, I can't read that. And then Logan. Uh, I can't read what shirt you're wearing, but uh, I like the tattoos. They look pretty cool. Um. Hairstyle here. Let me uh, let me just uh, get a few little hairs trimmed off the back. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you might have a little bleeding around your ear. That's my bad. Um, yeah. So solid backpack. You guys all look lovely, fantastic. Um, yeah. Bye now. Emily! I'm coming to save you! So, Kevin's real plan is to... I don't know, he said something about betraying the consortium? I don't know what that is. Like, so his, his master plan is to what? Escape with the survivors, I guess? Dang, he's talking to him now after all this time. Oh, no. All right. I thought I could run all the way through. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. All right, that really worked, huh? <laughs> run, run. <laughs> run! Ah! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Love that. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, that was... Yep, I heard the noise at the last second. I love watching all their bodies just, like, spin around in circles. It's pretty funny. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! <laughs> Jeez. Whoa! <laughs> Up or down? Up. Is she on the roof? Dang, now that's power. Taking out a ram with a single f just fist. Going up to the roof. We gotta move. Come on. There's a chopper on the roof. It's waiting for White. Kevin told us the plan. You're gonna kill everyone. He's flying the fuck out of here and calling in the bombers. Thermonuclear annihilation. Maybe I should start with you. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I have it, just as you asked for it. A super virus derived from a mummy. Not from a mummy, from her. Wow. Okay. That is interesting. I think I'll just, like, upload this as a single episode, honestly. This Ryder White campaign was definitely really good. Yeah. It was, it was really good. That's all I gotta say, really. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.